It's Monday morning. It's the start of a new vlog, but I just had to show you my beautiful strawberry harvest. I think that's the most strawberries I've ever picked at one time. Aren't they beautiful? Hi there. It is Monday night, and these are the two items that I sold today that I'm shipping out tomorrow. This is a cute little jade turtle link bracelet. Very pretty, bright green jade. It's nice. Um, and that sold for $26. And then we have this really colorful rhinestone filigree pendant. Very large. And um, it's probably check made, but I don't know for sure. I think it's not marked. But that also sold for $26. So, happy day. Hi there. It is Tuesday night, and I'm going to show you what I'm getting ready to wrap up to be shipped tomorrow. Um, first off, we have this member badge from the ancient United Knights and Daughters of Africa. I believe that's what it is. Um, if you saw my video from last week, you, uh, I talked about the what the history of this very cool um, badge is. And I couldn't find any really just like it, but I knew that um, African American Fraternal Organization memorabilia is a collectible. So I decided to put it up on eBay and I did an opening bid of $75 and that is what it sold for but that that was good I was happy that it sold and I did it has a repair the member plaque was broken in two and I glued it back together and reinforced it on the back and anyway yeah so that sold on eBay so I'm very pleased and we have um, these are some Los Castillos Mexican silver earrings. They're very, very heavy clip-on earrings. And um, Los Castillo is is one of the great uh, silver shops in Mexico. And um, so they're very collectible. So those sold for $68. And then we have... Oh, dear. Um, this is an unusual little brooch. It's made out of leather with hand-painted enameling of a dragon and it's called Fantasy what does that say? I can't read it Fantasy Florentine Firenze Italia in the original box probably never been worn I sold that for all of $15 um, this is a little tablecloth and napkins um, it's a cut work linen kind of mid-century and I will slip in a picture of it so you can see it. And um, that sold for $24. And then you've seen these two pieces before because I can't remember whether I told you or not. I probably didn't tell you because I was too embarrassed. But I got two orders mixed up last week. And um, the two people involved were kind enough to help me straighten it out. I sent them return labels and they returned the wrong brooches, I mean pendants, to me. And then I refunded them and then they bought them again. <laughs> it was so nice. So I'm going to try really hard not to get their orders mixed up. I do it about once a year. I just, even though I try really hard, I'm always worried about doing that because it's such a nightmare when it happens. But anyway, I just make mistakes sometimes. Okay, so those are today's orders. Hi, it is Wednesday afternoon and I am going to show you some things that I listed the last couple of days. But first, it's time for a brooch of the day. I'm not wearing these because they're a little heavy for the uh, little lightweight shirt I'm wearing, but I'll just show them to you. Aren't they adorable? We have two brooches of the day today. These are some little uh, sterling, not little, they're pretty big, sterling silver figural brooches. If a, a Chinese woman or girl with a fan and a Chinese man or possibly boy. And these are unmarked Brookcraft 
B-R-O-O-K-R-A-F-T. It's not a company I know very much about. They're, they're mid-century, 1940s, 1950s. They're pretty heavy, like about 13 grams a piece. And I think they're just charming. And I have these priced at $48 a piece. So let's get on to the just listed items. So of course we have some textiles. And this is a very lightweight cotton shawl. It is probably hand woven. I don't know for sure. There's no tags or anything on it. But it's beautiful. It's really pretty kind of subtle colors for what you usually think of as from Mexico or Central America, but that is probably where it's from. It's a, my sister-in-law says it's a rebozo, which is a shawl that, like, you'll see Mexican women wear them and they wrap their babies and carry their babies with them. And um, it's the traditional woman revolutionary garment. <laughs> That's about all I know. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, my cheat sheet. I have uh, that listed for 29 And then uh, this is the Chinese silk robe with the embroidery on it that I had in my recent haul video. This is about maybe a knee length or a little below knee length um, robe. I'll, I'll put a picture in so you can see it because I don't want to unravel it right now. But um, the, these Chinese robes go for a lot of money. I have this one listed for $175. Okay, then we have some jewelry. Oops. Okay. Uh, we have the Mexican silver naturalistic butterfly with turquoise stones. It's just marked Sterling, Mexico. It's old, probably 1930s to 1940s. And I have the butterfly listed for 45 and this is a bolo tie slide with a very lovely stone. It is um, azure malachite, which, as you might guess, is a mixture of azurite and malachite. And it's carved into a face on a kind of a shield-shaped slide with some stamping. And, uh, oh, this is marked ACE Guadalajara, which is a known maker mid-century, uh, 1940s probably, pre-Eagle Mark. And I have that listed for 48 And then we have a couple of rings. This one is also Mexican silver. This is a green onyx ring. And I had a, a pretty hard time with these markings, but I did finally figure them out. This one says CJB, I think. And then there's another mark inside the band. And that is the mark of Diaz Santoyo, who is a well-known silversmith from the mid-century era. And these two marks usually go together. Um, the theory that I read is that CJB is the actual artisan who made the ring, and he works for the Santoyo silver shop, silversmith. Sometimes these marks are really hard to decipher. But anyway, um, that ring is listed for 32 And then we have one more ring, which is an absolutely gorgeous turquoise. <laughs> Sorry, that's my hair in the way. Mm. Um, Navajo ring. Beautiful, beautiful stone. I think it could be Royston from the Royston area. But I'm not an expert on turquoise. I just look at pictures and think, ooh, that looks kind of like this. <laughs> but anyway, it's a nice, unmarked, probably older ring. And that I listed for 48 So um, that's all I have for you right now. And here it is, Wednesday night. And these are a few things that I'm shipping off tomorrow. Uh, this is a pretty spectacular thing. This is a solid sterling silver cuff bracelet signed by the artist Sherry Liska, I think it was. Uh, it's onyx and citrine stones. Very different and original. I really have never seen anything like it. 
I put a very I paid a lot for it because I just fell in love with it and um, I put a very high price on it but it has been in the shop for a while now so I did lower the price and sold it for hundred and fifty dollars and uh, this is a Monet little mustard seed charm bracelet I think I determined that this was from the 1980s um, but it's very cute nice condition that sold for 24 uh, we have this lot of three celluloid buckles from, I don't know, maybe the 1930s. Um, this one's a really fun pattern. And those sold for 15 for the three of them, plus international postage. And then this is, these are such pretty earrings. These are some Mexican silver and um, turquoise inlay screw back earrings. Really lovely. Um, these are signed JCD. Something like that. JCD. I think I'd, I wasn't able to figure out who it was, but um, so pretty. 1930s to 40s, probably these are. And uh, those sold for 32. And then lastly, inside this bag is a Guatemalan weeple. Um, I use that word a lot because I, it's one of the things that my sister-in-law collects. She really likes them. They're these um, shirts that are made like with two pieces of fabric. Each, each piece is shaped like a shirt and they're just sewn together. So they have great big wide sleeves and no actual shoulder seams or anything. And uh, they're a traditional garment worn in um, Mexico and Central America, probably South America too. And uh, this one is got all this rainbow embroidery. It's a dark color. It's this kind of stripy. I'll show you a picture of it. Um, but that sold for fifty-two twenty. Originally, the price was what fifty-eight dollars. Yeah. But this person got a ten percent discount because. They use the secret code, which is YouTube Thanks. You too can get 10% off. Just about any purchase. I think it's anything over $15, so that's almost everything in my shop. So, yeah, don't forget to use the code if you buy something from me. Um, okay, so that's it tonight. Hi there. It is Thursday morning, and I'd like to show you a few things I got listed this morning. But first, it's time for the brooch of the day. And what I have here is actually two brooches. And I have one inside the other, but you can wear them side by side or however you want to. I just thought it would be fun to pair these together. So I'm going to take them off and sew them to you more closely. Okay, so here are the two brooches up close. One of them is yellow rhinestones and one is purple and pink. They're both very well made with prong settings, and neither one is marked, and I sell the two of them together for $24. And here's what I got listed this morning. Um, this is a Chinese-themed charm bracelet, which was in pretty sad condition when I got it in a, in a lot, but I rehabilitated it. I touched it up with the gold leaf pen. I blackened the black missing black areas with a sharpie, which works actually really well. I mean, it doesn't come off, and it looks just like the. It looks really good. Uh, replaced those three pearls, as there was only one pearl left, and it was in sad shape. Um, I replaced this stone, which probably originally was a pearl or you know, faux pearl, but I thought it'd be fun to put a little pop of color in there, so I put a little moon glow cabochon in there. We've got a cute little Buddha and an elephant and some cage beads. And I listed that one for uh, $26. And then this, if you are a regular watcher, you might remember that these, 
these squares. They were attached to a, a thing from the 80s. It's like a clip that you use to um, pull in the waist of a dress. You put it on your back, kind of hide it if you wanted a dress to be more fitted. They were very popular in the 80s. But this It had these squares, which are really pretty, but it just had them like glued on. It looked horrible. I mean, it was just gross. So I rescued these and threw the rest of it away because it was not in good condition. And I don't know that anybody wears those anymore. But anyway, there's some little filigree squares. And this, this black stone, it is cut rather than molded. So it might be glass or something. It might be some kind of plastic. I don't know what it is. It feels more plasticky. But anyway, it's got nice sharp facets on it. And I just added some chain. This is like a vintage chain that I put on it. It's now about a 16 inch bib necklace. And I put this in my Karen Lebo shop because it's handmade. KarenLebo.etsy.com And I listed it for $19. And we have more linens. This is a sweet little table runner with a cross stitch flower pattern. And um, listed that for 21 and then we have the S monogrammed linen dish towels or um, tea, uh, what do you call them? Not tea towels, maybe tea towels. They're kind of bigger, more like kitchen towels and you know, nice sturdy linen. You can just never have too many of these I think but the needlework is beautiful, the monogramming is beautiful. They're not perfect, there are some like really faint stains and like some of them aren't quite the same degree of whiteness but you know you're not going to use them all at the same time anyway. Um, you know overall they, they really display pretty well. And I listed those for 24. raven on this roof making all kinds of weird noises. No, oh, he disappears as soon as I get my phone out. That's not fair. He was making all these really weird gargly noises. You can hear him a little bit in the background. He flew away. Hi there. It is Thursday night and these are the items I'm getting ready to package to ship tomorrow. We have a turquoise beaded bracelet, some very attractive turquoise with little garnet beads in between, and that's sold for 24 I don't know. That might have been the steel. Those are very nice turquoise. Um, and then we have this hand-carved wooden tiki ashtray. And uh, let's see, that sold for, um, where'd it go, 29 Is that right? Yeah, 29 Hi, it's Saturday morning, and I'm going to show you a few things I got listed yesterday and today. But first, I'm going to show you, oops, just came off, that's not good, <laughs> the brooch of the day. Hold on one second. So, yeah, sometimes these C clasps are not as secure as they could be, but the trick is to get to get a good amount of fabric on the pin so that there's a little bit of tension on it and then it will hold just fine. Um, so this is a genuine Victorian pin. It's made of brass and it's, oh, sorry, I know my fingernails are disgusting. I'm gardening again. Um, anyway, it's a, it's a really cute, ornate, very typical um, Victorian style and the price on that is $28. Okay, so let's look at the new listing. Okay, I have four listings to show you and the first is this sterling silver grape brooch. Now, this is just marked sterling on the back but I did a little research and this is actually a Danecraft brooch. It's just an early one. Uh, would be pre-1945. They didn't put Danecraft on there brooches. They had just uh, sterling and then a little cipher relating to their parent company, which is Felch and something I've forgotten already. Um, 
this one it just says sterling but there's not a good flat surface to put the stamp on so it's possible that that the little cipher fell off but the reason I know that this is Danecraft is I found a couple of identical brooches that are marked Danecraft and uh, I also found an ad that had this brooch in it for, for Danecraft and it's a, a grape well the ad said grape harvest was their headline so I guess that would be the name of the line they had I think I may have had the bracelet that goes with this at one time. But anyway, um, I listed that for, um, oh dear, oh dear, I forgot my cheat sheet. Here it is. Okay, um, that I listed for 42. And then this is a little, um, oops, got it upside down, uh, a nice Thai silver and yellow brooch with the god and goddess. She's the goddess of lightning. He's the goddess of thunder, I think. And she's she's bare-breasted. Um, it's very nicely engraved, and it's in really good condition. Um, I misspoke on the haul video about this. It says Siam Silver, but that does not mean that it dates from the era when Thailand was Siam. It's a little later than that. Um, it is uh, 1950s to mid-1960s. So, anyway, it's very cute, and I have that um, for 28. And then we have a couple of textiles. This is, this is I guess this is kind of like a little, I think I would use it as a, a little tea towel or dishcloth hanging from the, from the oven handle. And it's got these adorable little kitties. In different colors. I think you. I think it's Mexican. I'm pretty sure the fabric is hand woven, and it's in really nice shape. You could use it as a little table mat too. You know, put it under a fruit bowl or, or a dish or something. But it's very cute. And that I listed for 19. And then this is an African batik textile drummer on it. Oops. It's a little hard to see. <sighs> there he is. There's his face. He's playing a drum. Well, anyway, maybe it'd be easier if I just slipped in a picture. <laughs> um, it is a, a lightweight cotton fabric. Many uses. I have that in my Karen Lebo shop. And that one is... Uh, $19 also. And it is, um, it is real batik. It's not like a, a print, you know, made to look like batik. Okay. There, it is Sunday afternoon and it's time for another picnic adventure. We're going to make another attempt to find Rat Beach, which I talked about, I think it was two weeks ago. Maybe longer, I don't know. But, um, anyway, uh, it's a few miles, so it'll take us a little while to get there over the over the bridge and uh, I'll be back with you if and when we find it well this is where our GPS took us we are somewhat near the ocean but it does not look like a beach at all so we don't know what went wrong but um, we're gonna keep trying it is pretty it is pretty well we sort of Rob knows where we are He's, this is where he spent much of his childhood and we're actually just in a parking lot right now because we don't know what the parking situation is, but So this is where we're gonna picnic in the car as usual. Okay. Well, I think we're getting there This is just I thought this was such a pretty view on the way down the hill. I'd show it to you huh? That's definitely a, a tea kettle bird. So, oh my god, I think we may have found it. This is so exciting. This is really beautiful. And it was a miracle. The parking lot was free. This is 
very steep. And I hear lots of nice birds. And somebody lost their kite. Oh, that's a shame. avoid getting this child in my video. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard climbing up this hill. <laughs> Going down is a breeze. Well, I think this was worth the drive. It's really beautiful. Surfer out there. So here it is, Sunday late afternoon. We made it home from Rat Beach. That was a really fun, it was a really beautiful place. I'm glad that we persevered and found it. And um, poor Rob, he was sad to see that his middle school is no more. They've turned it into school administration buildings right there almost on the beach it's a beautiful school but anyway uh, so I am trying to get a head start on my packaging because I have a lot of packages to do tonight so I thought I'd dip, get these two big complicated things done um, these are both eBay sales uh, the first one here is this Chinese pumpkin form teapot which I sold to one of my best customers and the price was sixty dollars free shipping and then this is a Czech um, cut crystal compote that weighs an absolute ton. That's going to be, that's going to have to be packed very carefully, and I got to find a big box for it. Um, but that sold for $50 plus $25.75 in shipping. Hopefully, I'll be able to ship it for that. We'll see how that goes. So I'm going to get those done first. Okay, I have a bunch of orders that need to go out tomorrow. So I'm going to try to whip through these pretty quick. Um, I have a, a couple of textiles that sold, both of them cross-stitch. This is um, a table runner with some fanciful creatures on it. A, a flying unicorn and some, I don't know, one guy that looks like a squid. I'm not sure. They're, it's really cool though. Um, I'll show a picture of that. And that um, sold for 28 And then this is another cross stitch. It's a big tablecloth with some pretty pink flowers on it. And that one sold for uh, 45 And then the rest of this is jewelry. So we have this uh, kind of a radiator hose style choker necklace with some pretty delicate etching on it. And that sold for 18 um, Let's see. Oh, yes. This is a Labradorite pendant. It is silver plated in a kind of a Tibetan style. And uh, that sold for 28 And we have this is a sterling silver and a real pearl. Well, a cultured pearl, I'm sure. Like a cabochon. Maybe it's a whole pearl there. I'm not sure. But, um, that's a gorgeous ring. That one was 48 
and then we have uh, this Victorian style locket with the faux carved coral and some little birdies right there or a birdie um, and that sold for 24 Uh, this is a sterling silver, old Mexican sterling silver bracelet. Recent listing. And that sold for 59 And then, this is a really cool multicolor glass and rhinestone pendant. This is a little more modern than most of the stuff that I sell, but I thought it was really pretty. Um... That sold for 18 And then we have, oh, this is like a, a mid-century clear rhinestone bracelet. Really nice one. And uh, that sold for 22 And I think I got everything. Alright, so uh, this marks the end of another weekly vlog. Thanks for sticking with me. And if you like... No, that's not what I say. I say, please like this video if you... <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, give it a thumbs up, please, if you like it. And um, subscribe to my channel. Share, comment, and be sure and have a great week. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.